Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the Mario Kart DS 2005 Mini Mini Kart Collection figures from Japan. These were of course distributed in Japan and were available for a short time. There is two sets, of course there is set 1 and set 2 which I will show right now. I have these kind of out of order right now I because I just mix and matched them from both the sets but as you can see right here I have set one the set one sheet right here a little bit you can see it you got um Donkey Kong you got um Toad you got Mario um Luigi Peach and Bowser in the little um set sheet right here and as well we got set the set two sheet which is right here we got um Mario Luigi Wario Waluigi Yoshi Daisy Karen, which is also known as Dry Bones, and Hey Ho, which is known as Shy Guy. So yeah, I they named them um, Dry Bones and Shy Guy different characters, as you can see right there, kind of on the bottom of the list of the characters at the end. Now, surprisingly, these are both the rarest figures of the Mario Kart um, DS figures, and these are some of these characters appeared in Mario Kart um, toy form for the very first time such as, I believe, Dry Bones and Shy Guy. Now, of course, they have the Hot Wheels, and they have some of the Jax toys, and as well, but these were some of the very first, and they also have a Daisy one now for the Hot Wheels, but yeah, these were some of the very first, or if not the first, Mario Kart um, toys they made of these characters. So yeah, let's get a look, a closer look into these, and see what they're all about. So, let's start off with Mario right here. We got Mario. Really cool looking figure. I'm gonna get it better in-depth look right now at Mario, so... Here we go. We got Mario. Really, really cool. He has his tires roll, as you may notice. And he's all plastic. Very nice quality plastic. His tires are rubber, of course, and the smokestacks look like they're metal, but they're actually just plastic as well. And very fragile material, especially the pipes and the um, little on back right here are the most vulnerable, as well as the front. So yeah, um, really cool looking figure. Next, we got Dry Bones. One of the rarest. I've seen this one on eBay for about $300 by itself. And along with Dry Bones and... Or, along with Shy Guy, the Dry Bones and the Shy Guy figures together are about $600. I have a few of these, like a few duplicates. I got lucky over the years and found them. But yeah, I've, it took me about a year to find the full set. And it was... It wasn't easy, but... And it wasn't also easy, the work, the weight, but the weight was worth it, I say. So yeah, here's Shy Guy. You can see his little feet. That detail is amazing. Most toys that are this small, they don't pay attention to those small details. Even the steering wheel is 100% spot on. Just the details such as the bottom and stuff. The little pipes and the little details are really awesome. So yeah, really cool looking figures. And next we got Daisy. Princess Daisy, if you will. And as well, we got... Really cool. Let me get a better look at her face. So as you can see, really nice details. Little eyebrows, little eyes. The different layers and texturing of the eyes. And even the little um, crown paints. The painted applications of the aqua and the red. Really cool. And then the little flower. So these are not um like stickers or anything. They're just painted on, I believe. But yeah, definitely do not recommend using um the thermal like stuff that takes off the paint because that will melt the paint on these figures. It happened to me once with one of my figures. And yeah, I re regret it. So yeah, do not really touch these figures or anything. Of course, you can probably dust them off once in a while. You know, they get dusty if you don't have them in like a display case or something. But yeah, um, really cool looking figures. Just very fragile figures and delicate. And next up, we got Waluigi, one of my favorites. This guy is an amazing character, and, you know, this figure, every time I see it, it it makes me smile, you know. If I'm having a bad day, I just look at this figure, and it makes me smile again. So, yeah, really cool-looking figure, and just overall amazing details on this figure. So yeah, the paint applications for each of these are different a little bit in the eyes and stuff, you know, like not every single Waluigi or figure that was produced looks the same. That's expected for these older figures. As you can see, this one's eyes are a little bit higher than this one's. So yeah, very cool looking Waluigi figure. Of course, you know, um, I know some people ask me about giveaways, but I will not be doing any of those, sadly, so sorry. 
These took me a long time to find, and just to give them away would be very, um, I don't know what, uh, what word I should use, but I don't know if, I don't think it would be, um, smart if I just gave them away or for free or anything like that, because these are really, um, valuable to me. Not just because that people are selling them for very expensive, but just because the value of these figures, to me, this was my very first Mario Kart game, you know, um, I was about, uh, one years old when I, the game came out, I was born a year before, which was, this game came out in 2005, so yeah, um, really cool, I remember it was my first, I don't know if it was my first ever game I played, one of my very first, but it was my very first personal game that I was given with my Nintendo DS. Of course, I played the classic Mario games when I was very little as well, but this game stood out to me, and you know, I'm really cool. So, here's Yoshi, really nice looking figure. You can see little feet again. Orange, like Waluigi's. Nicely detailed. The bottoms are all the same for the carts as well. Let me get a better in-depth look. As You can see he has little eyes. And his little spikes in his shell. Let me get a better look at that. So, really cool looking figure. Here's the scale next to my hand. So, yeah, these are like... um. An inch and a half not or not no not, my bad it's like half an inch or something like that and here's peach really cool looking um figure nicely detailed so yeah princess peach figures are very common now but yeah other characters such as um waluigi daisy dry bones and shy guy weren't that common back then and some of the other ones still like rosalina um we still need more merch of so yeah, here's Donkey Kong, really cool looking figure. One of my favorites. <laughs> Just looks funny in his size in the cart. Looks way too big for the cart. So yeah, really cool. As you can see, there's some paint chip on there. And the inside of the paint, I believe, was blue. So if you scratched all this paint off, it would probably be blue for some parts like the smokestacks. But yeah, really cool looking figure. He has his little tie and you can see his feet kind of barely in there. But he has his little tie, that little detail that really stands out. These are amazingly detailed figures. Now, you don't think they would have painted that, but for a figure this size, really awesome. As well, we got Toad right here. Even his little feet are painted brown. Really great detail. And his little um robe right there, whatever you call it, like his shirt, that yellow piece. You can see, really nicely detailed figure. His little emblem. And... Heading on to the last two, we got Luigi. Really nice, de like, nicely detailed figure. So yeah, um, definitely a nice figure. Like the green, it contrasts from Yoshi's green, which is good because you can tell the two apart. And he has his little um, overalls on. I believe that's what they are called, or something like that. The plumber, the like the little plumber um stuff. So yeah, really cool looking um Luigi figure. He's smiling as well. Has a little L emblem on his hat as well. Like Mario has his M. And Waluigi has his upside down L. And then Mario with his um upside down M. A.K.A. A w. So yeah, here's Bowser. Really nice figure. Last but not least. Nice little Bowser emblem. And nicely painted. So for my set. um, I just picked out the, the ones that had the um, best paint applications. I actually found a lot of these. Now, one of them broke, which was one of the Waluigi's, which I definitely regret. I will never touch or lay a finger on these again. I was trying to pay fix a piece of paint that was scratched off by painting it, and then it turned into a giant disaster. So yeah, I learned my lesson. If there's a scratch, just don't be too picky about it because you'll make it worse. So yeah, here's Bowser. As you can see, even the small little details, such as the tail, are there. Um, really cool looking figure. Yeah, he's barely, you, know, you can barely see a steering wheel. That's hilarious. And yeah, it's a really cool looking um, detail. So yeah, really great set. Uh, my bad, I forgot that that was on focus mode. So I'm going to put this back to this. That's a little bright. So I'm going to leave it calmer right there. So yeah, really cool looking set. So yeah, I'm going to be laying out some of the other ones and I'll be right back. So here's an overview of what the other ones look like. I'm going to turn on the brightness really quick. Sorry if I blinded you guys, but as well, you can see right here, 
Here's some of the other ones I have. I There is a few that I couldn't show today. They are in the progress of being repaired. As well, I made a custom one that was... I made a custom one, which is Rob. They didn't make um, a Rob figure, which kind of disappointed me. But as you can see, he's right here. Kind of see him. Nice little um figure. I think he's cool. So yeah, um, I'm going to clean this up and we're going to do one last look. So I decided to add Robin because he's one of the characters, or playable characters in Mario Kart DS. Now, of course, the only ones that I don't have are the Shy Guy styles. They only made one of the Shy Guy, of course. I could have just gotten some of the other ones I had and just repainted them. But, you know, um, I'm not going to do that because these figures are extremely rare. So, yeah, um, as well, if I do ever sell them, at least I'll, I'll know they'll be going to a safe home, hopefully. So, yeah, um, really great looking figures. I like them a lot. And yeah, I think the Rob one I made isn't 100% accurate, but you know, but um, I think he looks cool with the rest of them. And maybe one day I'll get a little miniature one 3D printed and I'll just paint him and then add him in the cart. But for now, I think he's a great placeholder and represents the character well. So yeah, I think all these look really great. Um, really great little um Mario Kart DS collection. And this is probably one of the only um, Mario Kart DS um, toys they ever made. Now, there were a few out there like the little um circuit track ones and the... Um, the Jax one, there was like a Jax, Luigi, and Mario Kart, the Mario Kart DS standard cart, which I have. But yeah, um, really great looking figures. And just glad to see the way um these all turned out. Um, Yeah, I think there's a very few, I don't know if there's a lot out there, but I'd say that very few still exist. Or a lot of them probably got broken by kids because, you know, back in the day, a lot of kids probably got these. And the pieces broke and stuff, and that's why there's a lot being sold damaged or something. And plus... These can get smashed easily or forgotten where they've been placed and are very um hard to spot sometimes. So yeah, they could be under your laundry or something and you could smash them or you could drop them. So yeah, they're very fragile. So yeah, very um nice looking figures. Thank you guys for watching this video. I wanted to do an, a better HD looking um, view at these. So yeah, um I think I am satisfied with this video. If I want to do another one, um I'll do another one, but that probably won't be until the next year. I've been doing these, reviewing these every year once a year at least for every year since 2018 so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video